Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to this year's Saturn Retrograde video. We're going to take a look at how this will impact you and your sign. You can definitely look from your ascendant or your moon. You can also look from your sun. If sun is quite a significant part of your chart, you're very welcome to do so. You can jump straight into your mini report or if you'd like some background information about how I'm interpreting this retrograde, stay with me, I'll explain everything I see right here. So we're going to have Saturn retrograde from the 30th of June through to the 14th of November this year. Saturn will retrograde in Aquarius and as per the nakshatra system Saturn will go through back through Purvabhadrapada and Satyabhishak nakshatra. So this is a retrograde which basically means that the planet's going to cover the, the ground that it's already traversed over. Okay, so Saturn has already moved through Satyabhishak and Purvabhadrapada. One of the things that I observed there with Satyabhishak nakshatra was of course the recent airline issues, you know, the quality issues. And, you know, we've also had uh, recently with, with that Singapore Airlines disaster, I mean, yeah, we have been having airline issues in the world at the moment. So uh, definitely take care if you're flying. You know, I, I'm just sort of, I haven't written any notes about the collective or any of that, but it's interesting that that's just popping into my mind at the moment. Uh, so we are going to have Saturn backtracking through these areas. It's really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to put this in the title or not, but the theme that I have identified for this year's Saturn retrograde is correcting past mistakes. I think I probably will put that in the title if that fits, uh, but that is really the theme that I'm seeing that I'm, I'm going to explain to you now. Why do I see it that way? But yeah, that's interesting that I just thought of the airline thing. That is very interesting. Quality assurance, all of that. I mean, that, that falls into uh, how I'm interpreting Saturn retrograde this time. So the old ground that is being covered, what is that? Well, I've got here, um, we're going to cover the same ground Saturn already covered from approximately 23rd March this year through to 29 June. Okay, so that portion of, you know, time and space or however you want to see that, Saturn's going to cover that ground again. So you can look back over your life and you can think, okay, what was I doing in March? You know, March, April, May, June. How, what have I been dealing with? What have I been going through? And if you feel like it all went just fine and you don't have any past mistakes to correct, then you can possibly very well, you can move ahead, you can possibly profit at this time, you can possibly um, get ahead, do better, do more, all that kind of thing. But you are being given an opportunity to correct something. I've got here, yeah, what have you been dealing with over this period? Did you learn your lessons? Is there something you can correct? And I've got here, Saturn is giving you the power to correct what isn't right or what wasn't right at the time. Now, this could mean a few things. This could mean that maybe you're sorting something out with someone. Uh, equally, it could mean that you need to withdraw your energy. Equally, it could mean that you need to put your energy forward and you need to express who you are and what you're about or you need you may need to stick up for yourself more something along those lines so you will know what that is for you i will give you some ideas as we go into the mini report what areas of your life this could be but as you go through this saturn retrograde you will know what this means so i'm just going to break down the meaning in a bit more detail here so 
why am I seeing it in terms of correcting past mistakes? Now, I am seeing it so definitely correcting past mistakes. It's a retrograde. You're being given an opportunity. I do think Saturn's even giving you power to fix something. And I'm getting all of this from looking at Aquarius, Purvabhadrapada, and Saptabhishak. So I'm looking at, so we've got Saturn in Aquarius, Saturn in own sign, Aquarius. Sometimes people think that Rahu is a co-lord as well of um, Aquarius. So that is quite interesting. So any correction of a mistake will be beneficial to your future for sure. The other thing is we've got Purva Bhadrapada here and Satta Bishak Nakshatra. So Purva Bhadrapada is lauded by Jupiter. Now let's have a look at Jupiter's recent journey. So Jupiter only went into Taurus on the 30th of April. So when we're looking at the these timings here, so we've got here 23rd March through to 29 June. So look at that. Jupiter was in Aries for some of that. And then on 30 April crosses into Taurus. So we are dealing with a little bit of Mars, a little bit of Venus, which very often links into relationships, links into family, love, love life, partners, relationships, all that kind of thing. I've got here, yeah, Jupiter has been dealing with issues of self when Jupiter was in Aries and then family now that Jupiter is in Taurus. Rahu is in Pisces. So Rahu's just been in Pisces this whole time. And I've got here Rahu is definitely, if we're looking at the bright side of Rahu or the light side of Rahu, you know, when Rahu is good, Rahu is aiming for greater spiritual unity. But the shadow side of Rahu is delusion. So, you know, and we could see with Aquarius as well, because we've got heavy, you know, Saturn's in Aquarius. So this could be psychological uh, delusion even as well. Where, where have you been deluded or, um, yes, yeah, it's quite interesting actually now I'm thinking about it. This applies to me. <laughs> I'm just realizing, well, yeah, I've been deluded. Uh, let's have a look here. So Saturn is in Aquarius. And so the correcting of past mistakes is in relation to self, family, unity, and your own psychology, your own personal psychology. And we should bring into that delusion as well. Uh, maybe something will correct in terms of you seeing reality, you seeing reality clearly which really is what good intuition is. When your intuition is good and strong, you are seeing the truth and nothing else. So yeah, this I think this is gonna be a powerful retrograde. I've got here, if you have done your work, Saturn can reward you across this time, or you can work efficiently and effectively and you can get ahead, okay? And one of the things that I've always said with um, Saturn retrogrades across the years that I've been doing this work is that I've noticed a lot of self-employed people do really well at this time. Saturn will give you more work because Saturn is powerful in the sky during this time. And what does Saturn love to do? Saturn loves to give you work. You know, that's, that's very much uh, what Saturn does. So if you want work, if you want to be busy, this is the time period where you can be very busy indeed. All right. Well, everyone, I think we're going to step into the mini reports. How are we doing on time? We're okay. Wow. 10 minutes. I thought I'd waffle on for longer than that. All right. So Aries, Aries, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Aries ascendant, Aries moon or Aries sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So let's take a look at what we've got going on here for you. Now Saturn is going to be in your 11th house and is casting aspect into your first, fifth and eighth houses. So you're actually in a really beautiful Saturn transit, Aries. Okay, you want to be making the most of this time. 
if you are an Aries moon, <clears throat> it's very important that you make the most of every single day of this beautiful Saturn energy through to about March 2025. Okay, you're currently in a platform building time. <clears throat> Saturn is looking to grow you. Okay, uh, and, and look, Saturn might have been challenging you. You've got Saturn aspect on your first house. So Saturn might have been being tough on you lately. That is quite possible. But really, you've got Saturn 11th from and this is a very very good transit that you're in so i just want to say that right from the beginning you know that even if saturn has been testing you or difficult um he still wants to grow you at this time so keep making the most of this because especially the moon people you're going to enter into sati sati in k march 2025 so you want to make the most of the time you're in now now Saturn retrograde is giving you the opportunity to correct any past mistakes made in love or dating or with your children. Okay, we've got Saturn casting aspect onto yourself but also onto the fifth house of dating, romance, creativity, children. Okay, people you manage, any of that. Maybe you're a manager and you have staff. Um, this is to do with you know have you been have you been looking after your people and I've got here it doesn't necessarily mean reaching out to anyone okay so I don't want you to feel like oh you know I do I have to call someone and apologize oh, no no what I'm seeing here is that this is like a deep internal letting go okay and I've got here there's some recognition that time has moved forward and now so must you and I've got here, many of you are creating the new. This is definitely the time to get ahead on building your future, building up your creative projects, strengthening family ties and bonds that are in your life right now. Okay, and that's Saturn's aspect into Scorpio there. That's why I'm saying that. But also very much with Scorpio in your 11th house, this is a good time to be networking, to expand your network, to grow, to grow how you take in new opportunities. Okay, you want to be able to take in big new opportunities. You want to be ready. So it's that energy of always being ready, you know, for what's next. Aries, enjoy the rest of your Saturn transit. You're in a good one. Enjoy it. We are now going to welcome Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Moon or Taurus Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now you've got Saturn in your 10th house. You've been working Taurus, haven't you? You've been working hard. You are in need of reward. I feel you. I know. I know how hard it is Taurus. You've been through that long stretch where there hasn't been much going on. You are about to come into a time of reward. Okay, so that's March 2025. Things are going to get easier. You're going to just start loving your life again, you know. I mean, it's uh, if it's been hard for you, Taurus, don't you worry. It's going to get better. And if you tune in now, you'll start to feel things getting a bit lighter, getting a bit easier, you know, that you're enjoying more, that, that you know, things that maybe worried you before, they're not worrying you now. See if you can tune in, you might start to feel it. Because I know with my Taurus Moon clients, when I speak to them on Zoom, they're like, hey, my work is going well and I'm enjoying things. And, you know, I've, I've had some uh, people tell me they're, they're enjoying things now. So you've got Saturn there in the 10th. It's casting aspect into your 12th, 4th and 7th houses. So let's have a look at all this. Now, when it comes to this retrograde period, I really do think that Saturn retrograde is giving you another chance to refine how your heart handles the following relationships. So that is your partner, your business partner, or any collaborators that you work with, and your mother as well, okay? This could also be about improving how you nourish yourself. Maybe you're getting better at that. Maybe you're improving that. And what discipline do you need 
to make yourself more physically comfortable that's quite interesting because you do have saturn casting aspect into the fourth that is about your physical comfort and it might be maybe that has been challenging maybe you've had like repairs to do at home or things are broken down or you haven't been that comfortable physically or something has been stuck in that regard or you haven't been able to um sort something out i do believe in this retrograde period this could be the time maybe where you get those repairs done if it's to your physical home or you sort something out in regards to could be your diet it could be a diet change or something where maybe you figure out the right supplements to take or if it's that kind of uh, physical comfort we're dealing with here yeah i've got here this transit can help get pending domestic matters sorted the other thing is that with Saturn's aspect into your 12th house, you can really work with your dream state to clear out any old traumas around love. And when it comes to work, slow and steady wins the race. Don't be in a rush, Taurus. <laughs> Take your time. But I mean, you, you, you've you come through that long stretch. So I'd imagine that you've acquired a lot of patience by now. So you're probably quite chilled. Uh, you probably are slow and steady wins the race by now i've got here keep chipping away every day saturn is getting ready to reward you for the long stretch of nothing that you've been in for so long yeah and some of you in the comments have told me about it as well thank you so much all right taurus well thank you so much for joining we are now going to welcome gemini gemini welcome thank you so much for joining so this is gemini ascendant gemini moon or gemini sun as per the sidereal vedic system of astrology how are we doing on time we're okay saturn is in your ninth house and you know what's really interesting for you gemini saturn is casting aspect into the houses where saturn does really well so saturn is casting aspect into your 11th into your third and into your sixth houses saturn loves all of those houses so that's quite interesting this transit i mean this is good for socializing with the 11th and the third saturnian energy going in there i mean yeah and your sixth house i mean that's all about service let's have a look at my notes what have i got written for you I, i'm starting to go down tangents saturn retrograde is giving you the power to correct any mistakes you've made in social settings or with siblings or with work saturn a saturn aspect it can be a bit of a limiting energy so you might have also socially felt limited it's possible or saturn has been testing you testing you in your friendships in your networking circles in your relationships with siblings any of that saturn might have also been testing you at work how well you serve saturn of course in the ninth is wanting to make you more responsible is wanting to and saturn has probably been going through your beliefs and just testing all right what do you believe about that what do you believe about that do you believe in yourself you know saturn presses the weak links and wants to test oh, how strong are you there but yeah you you do have the power to correct any past mistakes you've made in relationships with siblings uh, and or with work work colleagues any of that clients any of that and i've got here this doesn't necessarily mean reaching out to anyone this is just internal work of letting go of letting it all be okay you know seeing your part in what didn't go right committing to not doing it again uh, recognizing and just being easy within yourself you know and then when you encounter those people again they'll just they'll just feel that you've let go and they'll feel better too they you know it's good letting go is really good it's the main spiritual work i believe we come here to do i've got here if you have been studying or learning new skills well done you are on track and work wise especially for self-employed people you might find that this retrograde brings more people for you to serve okay more work more clients perhaps you're growing your business 
across this retrograde period. It's pretty exciting, Gemini. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Cancer. Cancer, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Cancer Ascendant, Cancer Moon or Cancer Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So now you've got, oh man, you've got, look at this. I'm just, I've just glanced down at my iPad and I've got your notes here. Yeah, just Saturn in the eighth. I just look at it and go, oh, that, that's tough stuff. Um, yeah, I remember my eighth from transit. It was hard. You've been going through a hard transit, Cancer, here with Saturn, but Saturn has been transforming you. Okay, it's been alchemizing, has been, you've been doing some real work here. The other really good thing about your Saturn transit uh, is that it's in a Vipreet Raj Yoga. Okay, so that's really great. So Vipreet Raj Yoga, when I talk to my clients about this, I always say that, you know, it's like you have to do battle with the monster in the cave. But once you've done that, there's a pot of gold behind or something along these lines. But this transit may have required you to have courage. Uh, it may have required you to deal with some pretty heavy stuff as well. Saturn's here in your eighth house. Okay, you've been doing the real work of all the signs that I'm going to read through here today. You've been going through definitely one of the toughest Saturn transits. Okay, one of the toughest. So now Saturn is in your eighth house, casting aspect into your tenth, your second, and your fifth houses. So Saturn retrograde is giving you the power to now correct any mistakes you've made regarding work, regarding savings, money, family, your children. I mean, pretty much your whole life, right? This is huge. I've got here, you have been going through a massive time of transformation. Please be kind to yourself with all the changes you've been going through. Build in rest, build in time to reflect, build in time to process things. You're going to need it. Okay, Saturn has hopefully been gifting you time here. This is a kind of transit where Saturn can make a person unemployed to give you that kind of time because you need it, right? So it can be that maybe you haven't been working as much or work has been stop start, work has been tough. Um, sometimes workplaces are very good at sensing that, okay, my, my employee needs more time and they just give you more time. I was speaking to the lady who's the building manager here and she was telling me that um, her boss has been brilliant. Like she lets her, um, if she's going through a tough time, she lets her overwork on one of the days so that she can underwork on another day and things like that. She was telling me this most incredible boss that she has. Sometimes I've seen people when they're going through this eighth from transit, life just arranges itself so that it can bring you more time um, i've got here let go of the past things are being alchemized through you okay so you may have needed healing and equally you might have been an actor in someone else's healing okay so that whole thing is fascinating sometimes it's your stuff equally sometimes the universe is using you to heal someone else's stuff, which is a pretty interesting phenomenon, but it does happen. Uh, I've got here, you're definitely being prepared for better transits. Things will improve from March 2025 onwards for you. But in terms of this retrograde period, you're getting one last push sort of with this with this big energy. And I'll tell you what, I remember my eighth from transit. That was the transit where I left my corporate thing and I set up what I'm doing now. I just had to replace the battery. I think I was saying this was the exact transit where I left the corporate thing and I've set up what I'm doing now. And yeah, it was, I tell you, it was tough because like it felt like breaking down an old economy that was familiar to me and then having nothing for quite a while and then having to build up a brand new economy kind of thing. That's how it manifested for me. And yeah, it was hard. So, uh, but what, what I'm saying here is that like, yeah, it was hard when I was in it, but I'm so grateful. For all the changes that took place at that time i'm grateful now you know and it's like this is the kind of transit where you will come out of it feeling grateful for having gone through it so i don't know exactly what you've been going through or what this is for you but what i can tell you is how i now feel about my eighth from transit when i look back on it because i'm out of it 
And it's just like, what an amazing time. And, you know, uh, it, it was good. I, well, I look back on it now, but at the time, obviously, it's very tough and you're not enjoying it. But, you know, um, you're being polished into some kind of diamond and it's, it's tough stuff. But keep going, Cancer. You, you don't have long to go anyway. March 2025, you won't have one of these transits for quite a while. So don't, don't you worry. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in, Cancer. We are now going to welcome Leo. Leo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Leo Ascendant, Leo Moon, or Leo Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So what do you have going on here, Leo? Well, you have got Saturn in your seventh house. And Saturn's casting aspect into your ninth, first, and fourth houses. So this is powerful stuff. You've got Saturn seated in the seventh house of the other. So you uh, are dealing with the other, your committed partner. It could be your business partner. It could be your public if you're a creative person, if you're a business person. But this is the other. So relationships might have been testing you over the last couple of years. Equally, the work that Saturn has been doing here, he's been testing your heart space. He's been pressing the weak links. And yeah, I've got here Saturn retrograde definitely will be clearing out your heart space now. So we're tossing out the old things that you don't need anymore. I've got here, um, you've got a chance. So when it, we're looking at correcting past mistakes, Saturn is giving you the chance to forgive yourself and others. It's really interesting. I haven't used the word forgive in the, in the notes of too many other signs. And I've sort of been phrasing it like, don't worry, you don't have to pick up the phone to anyone. But it's, yeah, it's kind of interesting that I, I am actually just using the word forgive here. Oh, but I have written, yeah, you don't need to contact anyone. This is purely internal work of letting go. It is. And for all signs, that's, that is the vibe I'm getting. There's some kind of energetic correcting of some past dynamic where you are bringing your energy in somewhere, but equally you might be putting your energy out saying, look, this is my boundary. This is who I am. And a boundary is basically you're just filling in the space with you and your needs and who you are. So you're just saying, well, I like this or I don't like that or this is me or, you know, because you can't control anyone else and their free will. They're allowed to do what they want. That's their karma. Let them do what they want. But for you, you need to stand up for yourself or stop a behavior that you don't like or you need to, you know, you may have some, you may have some work to do where you have to stand up. For yourself okay yeah drawing your energy back where required expressing yourself where required to I've got here there will be some relationship where either you are too much on their side of the tennis net or where you are not filling up your side of the tennis net so yeah in that sense uh, the tennis net analogy comes from Jerry Wise he's a brilliant coach here on YouTube, have a look. He's got amazing content for free. So take a look at what he has to say about, you know, being on your side of the tennis net and playing a good game. I've got here, um, keep maintaining good physical discipline, keep eating well. And if there is some home related issue or some issue related to your mother, um, that can be resolved at this time. And I've got here that, you know, this could even be something simple like pending rep repairs to the place where you live. Maybe that is going to get done now if there's been something that you've been wanting to sort out in that regard. I think that's everything, Leo. The other thing is, I mean, you've got Saturn casting aspect here into the ninth house. Hopefully you've been skilling up. Hopefully you've been learning your lessons equally. Saturn might have been testing your beliefs, especially your beliefs about love, your beliefs about relationships, your beliefs about who you are, you know, and how much power you think you have. You probably, you know, you, you probably have more power than you realize. We all do. We all don't realize how powerful we are, you know. So that might be some uh, spiritual work that you might be doing there recognizing that you're actually a very powerful person. All right, Leo, well, thank you so much.
for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Virgo Ascendant, Virgo Moon or Virgo Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. So Virgo, you have got a beautiful Saturn placement here. You've got Saturn in your sixth house. Okay, Saturn transits very well there. It's a Vipreet Raj Yog Saturn as well, right? So this is not just any kind of Saturn. This is a very good one. But you might have to, uh, with a Vipreet Raj Yog, I always tell people that it's like you have to battle the monster in the cave, but there's a pot of gold behind. So perhaps over the last couple of years, uh, you have been, well, since about, say, Jan, Feb 2023, so I should say year and a half, uh, you might have been dealing with some difficult stuff, but if you face it with courage, if you take it on, you have the ability to go up, okay? So Saturn is in your sixth house, casting aspect into your eighth, twelfth, and third houses. So look at that. This is about, this is also about, yes, courage, okay? Courage to take the next step up in life. And you might have had to look into your subconscious a little bit or deal with uh, some difficult things. Some things maybe, you, you know, you might, have, you might have been stuffing down or something, but Saturn might be bringing it up. I've got here, Saturn retrograde is still helping you build the next platform up in life. This is a good transit. Basically, you're in a very good transit through till March 2025. And what I would suggest is make the most of every day from here through to March 2025. You want to be making the most of this transit. Saturn will be gifting you opportunities uh, and good things. So make sure you capitalize on this time. I've got here to make the most of this energy. Keep committing to your spiritual path. Stay committed to truth and courage. If you are in integrity, if you are living in integrity, you can profit from this transit so much. Okay. And the, the retrograde, the power of this retrograde is that you can correct past mistakes. You can possibly become more free. You can possibly um, become more free. So that you can make the most of the good side of this Saturn transit, basically. Because I'm just having a look at this um, aspect into the 8th there and into the 12th. That can be a, a bit, um, these subconscious areas, it can be a little bit tough there. I've also got the note, somebody might need this one. Justice is not something you find out there in the world. Justice is something that can come through you and what you do and what you choose and what you invest yourself into and equally, but what you remove yourself from. Okay, so that might be needed for someone. I've got here, you can work with your dream state to help unearth things that haven't yet healed. I have actually been working with my dream state recently and I was just thinking I should quote this book Ayurveda in the mind when I talk about dream state. I think this is the first time we're talking about dream state. He talks about um, when you correctly take in impressions. Oh let me see if I can find it. What does it mean to correctly take in impressions? Anyway, he talks about the dream state. Oh, here we go. Signs of proper intake of impressions. Yeah, so if you've, if you've had a good day, you should have deep sleep with few or spiritual dreams. And i tell you something. I've been working with this lately, and I'm now having these nice dreams. But I think it was last week. Oh, my goodness. My dreams were awful. All this resistance came up. All this muck came up. And like... And it's funny because the dreams, one of the dreams I had was that my shoes, I'm walking somewhere and they're just full of mud. And it's like, what? And these are new shoes. 
in my dream and I Google search some of the meaning of all this and I'm like, oh, well, this is fascinating. Dream state work, it's brilliant. You can just ask your subconscious mind before you sleep at night that um, guide me, show me, guide me in my dream state tonight. Show me, give me signs, teach me something. Just ask, just ask to be shown. Ask your higher self to be shown what do you need to know. Your dream state will tell you. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, I've got here, work with your dream state to help unearth things that haven't yet healed. And I've got here, remember to run your own race. Don't compare yourself to others and only compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Okay, if you can do a little bit better than yesterday, you are doing great. Okay, so go easy on yourself, Virgo. Don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Libra. Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I think I bookmarked that. Yes, good, because I might need it for another sign. Libra, what's going on? All right, you have got your Saturn in the fifth house, uh, and it's casting aspect into your seventh, eleventh, and second houses. All right, so this is... Yeah, this, this is some tough stuff around, it's definitely around dating, romantic connections, any of that. Saturn has been going through this part of the chart. It is your heart, okay, uh, as well, your heart space. I've got here, Saturn retrograde wants to help you correct anything that hasn't gone right, either with your children, your romantic partner, older siblings, and or family or childhood connections. Uh, or even your ability to save or invest money. So if you're kind of cool with all your people around you, it might be you're just not earning enough or saving enough or you want to get the money side of things up because that might have been a bit suppressed uh, over the last... Oh, yeah. Yeah, your finances, finances might have been quite suppressed over the last... since about Jan, Feb, uh, 2023 it's possible so you you might be looking at that now in terms of correcting any past mistakes with somebody if it's a person I've got here this isn't about talking to anyone as such it's more of an internal shift okay where you draw your energy back where you need to but equally where you express yourself where you need to as well okay sometimes we need to people don't know uh, because I always remind myself of this, people aren't psychic, I'm not psychic, <laughs> I'm, I'm learning that every day, <laughs> that I'm not, I'm a bit intuitive, you know, I can, I, I can make my way through, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not psychic, and other people aren't psychic either, so you will, this will be possibly about communicating better, or more, to say, well, I do like this, but I don't like that, you know, what the other person does, does with that or doesn't do with that that's not in your control um, you let them be them do what they do that's their karma equally you might be drawing your energy back where needed and sometimes I know with me I'll, I'll give you an example of that it's a very abstract thing to say what does it mean it can be things like um, wanting an apology or wanting justice or that kind of thing yeah I, I think I need to draw my energy back from wanting that you know um from certain people it, it's never going to come uh it might but then by then i don't even want it anyway <laughs> i've drawn my energy back you know so yeah it's um that can be a tricky thing to do drawing your energy back and yet you can really find out where your energy if it's if it's gone out it's gone out possibly due to some desire you might want something like an apology, right? Uh, so bring your energy back in. <laughs> Let them be them. I've got here, yeah, written, you will know what to do. You'll know what to do. Now I've got here with Saturn being in your fifth house, this is also about you creatively expressing yourself or taking up space or being yourself, right? This is Leo. Leo is, I'm here and I'm this and I'm that, you know. But here you are being asked to fill the canvas of life with your way, your style, with who you are. Will you take up the paintbrush and paint what is next? Libra, I'm excited for you. 
Uh, we are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I'm checking the time. We're okay. All right. Where have you got Saturn? So you've got Saturn in your fourth house and it's casting aspect into your sixth, tenth and first houses. So you're in a Saturn dire period. It's a bit up and down. Yeah. A bit up and down. But here Saturn retrograde will help you smooth things out at home. Equally, Saturn retrograde might be testing you at home or in your relationship with your mother. Um, Saturn retrograde will also help you uh, smooth things out at work or with your own physical discipline. So it's helping you smooth things out. I mean, this, this can also be about correcting past mistakes at home, at work, or with your physical discipline. But here being physically disciplined will help you at this time. Make sure you are exercising well, you are eating well, you are sleeping on time, all that kind of thing. Got here your relationship with mother and or bosses or clients at work are all in focus. And if there are mistakes that need to be corrected, you will have the power to do so. This doesn't necessarily mean calling anyone or speaking to them or any of that. It's just an energetic thing. Where, where do you need to not expect much? I think that's how I should be phrasing that. Yeah, just, I've just done so many signs. It, when I talk about withdrawing your energy, drawing your energy back in, this can be about um, not expecting much from other people. And you might need to express yourself or you might need to stand up for yourself or explain, well, hey, this is, this is what I'm about. You know, you might need to do some of that work. I've got the note here, if you feel you need rest, take rest. Also Saturn's aspect in the outer houses. Yes, indeed, six and 10 will help you, Saturn can help build you up financially. I've got here, it will just take continuous discipline and chipping away at what you do day by day. All right, because you've got Saturn casting aspect into, it. yes, there are two Artha houses and there are two Upachai houses as well. You can build money, all right? So hopefully, it'd be interesting to hear if any of you have been saving or building money at this time. Uh, but if, if that is so, then keep going with that. You've got energy uh, here. You can keep doing that through to March 2025. You can build up and save money. This, this is a good time. Yeah, keep chipping away at what you do day by day. Keep going, Scorpio. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. We are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So we are looking at did i run through the little intro bit the sagittarius moon sagittarius sun sagittarius ascendant i don't know if i did i'm starting to forget all the signs are blurring right now because i just saw the sun come out and my whole being is just rattled i'm like what sun this is a momentous occasion <laughs> it's been pretty gray over the last couple of days it's been very gray all right, Sagittarius, welcome. Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Sun. How are you? Is it sunny where you are? I do hope it is. Now we got Saturn third from for you. Okay, it's in your third house. It's casting aspect into your fifth, ninth, and twelfth houses. So you are you're still enjoying, hopefully enjoying this beautiful Saturnian energy. You've got a great Saturn transit right through to March 2025. Keep making the most of every single day of this time. Okay, Saturn wants to help you. Saturn wants to build you up. You've been through the Sati Sati. Okay, that was, when was that? Well, you would have finished, right? Um, by the start of 2023. So before 2023, that was seven years where it was tough. Okay, now you're in this phase where it's like, oh, I can breathe again, right? Uh, it should be, okay? Um, it should be better. You should be in a good phase. 
keep enjoying this energy i mean we mustn't forget this is saturn let's not get too excited i know it's it's saturn saturn is always going to want you to be responsible and committed and disciplined and all these saturnian things right but it's, if you're doing all of that if you're honest and living a good life right now you should be being rewarded or life should be easier in some way or things should be good for you and it will be as i say through to march 2025 how can you make the most of this retrograde energy? So I've got here, Saturn retrograde will help you correct any mistakes made in your social circles, with siblings, or in your love life as well. And I've got here, no need to reach out to anyone as such. This is not that kind of thing. I've got here, just by correcting the energy within you, you are balancing out the whole in some way. Okay. So maybe it's about not expecting too much from somebody or... It's about um, communicating who you are and what your needs are and not expecting someone else to be psychic and all that kind of thing. I've got here, your dream state will be very helpful if you choose to work with it. Now, I read this for another sign. Every time I talk about dream state, I'm just going to bring this up. Dr. David Frawley has written about Ayurveda in the mind. Um, he's talked about the, the proper intake of impressions during the day. This is so interesting. And... He says that, you know, signs of proper intake of impressions, so things like acuity of sensory functioning, control of the imagination, and this one, deep sleep with few or spiritual dreams. And I'm like, wow, that this is so true. I've been working with my dream state just over the last two, three weeks. It has been amazing. Like, yeah, I'm having nice dreams now, but like a week ago, oh my God, the dreams were bad, <laughs> really bad. So um, something was definitely clearing through my field and that's gone now. It's good. I'm glad it's gone. Uh, let's have a look here. So I've got here just by correcting the energy within you. Yes, your dream state will be very helpful if you choose to work with it. I've got here, yeah, you, it might be, you might be finding it hard to speak up about something. That's a possibility. Saturn's aspect into your 12th there. But Saturn's in the third. It's giving you courage. So if you've got any of that going on in your life, you do have the courage, okay? Uh, if you need to speak up about something, you can. You'll be able to find it within you. And definitely across this uh, retrograde period, this, this might be the time to do that. I've got here, you are still benefiting greatly from Saturn being third from your sign. Make the most of every day of this transit through to March 2025. I've covered that. Saturn is helping you build the next platform up. Keep working with this magic energy. All right, Sagittarius. So well, thank you so much for joining. We are now going to welcome Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Capricorn Ascendant, Capricorn Moon or Capricorn Sun as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. All right, so any of my Capricorn moon people, yeah, you're finishing your Sati Sati now. Finishing it, right? It's been a long stretch. You're coming to the end, and you should, by about now, be starting to feel a little bit mm, like uh, things getting a little bit easier, maybe. Okay, see if you can feel that now. It will start to get a lot easier, March. 2025 of next year okay so it's, it's gonna get better my capricorn moons it's gonna get better march 2025 it's gonna be really good it's, it's gonna be reward time okay but uh you might even start feeling flickers of it now if you're very sensitive and you can feel into the future a little bit then you'll feel it so things are definitely going to get better this could be i mean this could even apply to capricorn ascendant as well but definitely for the moons that is that is true how have you been doing well okay saturn is in your second house casting aspect into your fourth eighth and eleventh houses you are building up now you're building up savings you're building up gains but what about the retrograde so the retrograde will help you correct any mistakes made with anyone from your childhood or perhaps your mother or perhaps your partner your in-laws um, or even siblings as well i've got here you don't need to contact anyone 
This is just about learning. It's about observing. It's about working out how your energy needs to be going forward. What do you need to do differently? Maybe you need to recognize that you've been expecting too much from someone else. You've been expecting something they have demonstrated clearly that they can't give it to you, right? <laughs> so it's for us to go, okay, I'll stop expecting that, you know? <laughs> we have to let go, right? We have to do the work. So something like this uh, you'll be doing. I've got here, yeah, bring your energy back in where you have to and extend it out and express yourself where you have to as well. I've got here, state your needs and it's time to up your self-worth. You deserve more. Okay, and, and the universe wants to give you more. The universe wants to reward you. And it's really interesting that Saturn gives these rewards, reward periods after tough, long stretches of time. So by the time you're due for a reward phase, you're probably very sensible and conservative and disciplined and patient and all these wonderful qualities, you know, that Saturn has helped you hone. So you, you, sometimes when you're coming into a reward phase, it's like you're still being that Saturnian humble person, but it's like, no, you can you can expand, you know, and, and enjoy and, and up your self-worth and you deserve more and go for the bigger things and, you know, go for it, you know. Uh, I mean, you'll see March 2025, that, that's, that's going to be, you, you'll notice the energy will improve a lot. You can always put in the comments below and let me know. And, and you'll, you'll be letting others know too how, how the energy is, is working. Uh, a lot of us are learning from the comment sections here. I've got here, um, Saturn is gearing up to give you more. Hang in there. March 2025 is not far away. Uh, and, and this is for, you know, the Capricorn Moon, Ascendant and Sun. Okay. Um, it's a third from transit. It's a good thing. I've got here, yeah, you are soon to be rewarded. Gently imagine what lovely things you'd like to experience. Your discipline would be a lot higher now than it was seven years ago. You are getting ready to expand. Okay, and we expand in the Saturnian way, you know, in the kind of uh, feet on the ground way, yeah. Oh, it's good Capricorn, I'm wishing you well. If it's tough for you right now, you hang in there, all right? Not too much longer to go. We are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Aquarius Ascendant, Aquarius Moon, or Aquarius Sun, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. Saturn's in your sign. Saturn is in your first house, casting aspect into your third house, seventh house, and tenth houses. All right, what do we have going on here? I mean, you could be closing out some big, 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 big cycles. Okay, you could be closing out, especially like if you're an ascendant moon, even if you're a sun. Saturn, you could be, I mean, natal Saturn could be in Aquarius. It'll be your Saturn return. You could be closing out some big, long, 30-year cycles. Like You could be closing out some big stuff, Aquarius. You've been doing some huge work. And you're starting up big new cycles at this time, okay? So what is Saturn retrograde going to do? Well, Saturn retrograde is going to help you straighten up the following areas. So this is relationships with siblings, relationships with friends, your partner, work people, work clients, bosses. This is pretty huge. This is a lot of your life. When we're looking at all the areas it's touching, this is really big. I've got here, there is also a huge opportunity to let go of burdens you have been carrying for a long time. What have you been carrying, Aquarius, for a really long time? And this could be the time where it's just, it's time to put it down, let it go. I've got here, it can be a time of forgiving others and forgiving yourself. And it's very interesting. I haven't used the word forgiveness in the notes of there was one other sign where I used it, so that's quite interesting. Got here, recognizing your own imperfections and your own power to do it better next time. 
Saturn is gifting everyone a lot of corrective power at this time. We're, we're all literally being given like power to fix things. Uh, that is that has come through and the reason I've gone for this kind of messaging it is to do with some client work I've been doing uh, it is to do with some of the um, I do pick a card type work on the patreon uh, I, haven't, I know I haven't uploaded there for a little while but um, but definitely some yeah client work that I've been doing and just some messages that I've been getting intuitively for me yeah it's like there is corrective power available across this time I've got here, if you are on track, then this is the time to power ahead in all of the above areas. Perhaps you will meet new friends. Perhaps you're going to meet new partners, new clients. Uh, if you are on the spiritual path and feel up to speed on your homework, you can profit at this time, Aquarius. So good on you. There might be, and look, there might be some areas where you're powering ahead, but there might be some areas of your life as we looked at. There are a few areas here might be a couple of things where you're just having to, okay, I have to go and I have to deal with that thing. So deal with it. Aquarius, I'm wishing you well. If you're an Aquarius moon, hang in there. I'm sending you like a big hug. <laughs> it's hard. I know. It's um, Aquarius moons have been going through it really big time. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all going to make you so strong you are going to come out of this you are going to emerge renewed and the strongest you've ever been so that's what you have to look forward to that that is in your future okay that's what asadi sati does it makes you really really strong uh, you you'll do it you will do it all right aquarius take care we are now going to welcome pisces pisces welcome thank you so much for joining how are we doing on time we're okay pisces what have you got going on? You have got Saturn in Vipritra Yoga, there in the 12th. Saturn's in your 12th, you know, in sign. It's casting aspect onto your second, sixth, and ninth houses. So it's a Vipritra Yoga. And it might be that, so this is good. This is a great yoga, right? This is really good. Um, but what, what the deal is with the Vipritra Yoga, it is in a Dhistana house. It's in a challenging place. So I always say to my clients, you have to deal with a monster, but there's a pot of gold behind the monster. You just need courage. You need courage to activate the that Raj Yog, that king-making lift and rise that you can get from one of these uh, beautiful, beautiful star formations that we've got here. Saturn 12th from this. This is a tough transit, especially if you're a Pisces moon. Um, even if you're not a Pisces moon, Pisces ascendant, I've seen it as well. You can, you might have to surrender. You might have had to give up some things, or you might have had to um, pare back, or not be as ambitious as you would like to be. Or you know, there's there's a few ways that this one can be playing out. It's a, it is a tough transit. Um, I've got here Saturn retrograde is bringing you a new level of spiritual discipline in the following areas. So this is to do it is to do with relationships, family relations, finances, your work, your authority, your skills. But it's a new level of spiritual discipline. So this is how you relate to these areas of your own life. Saturn could be um, Pressing the weak links, testing your beliefs, you know, do you really believe in yourself? How do you feel about yourself? There could be some self-worth type stuff happening here as well. I've got here Saturn will be testing your frequency to see what you have integrated. And it's time for your subconscious to grow and evolve. You will be required to let go, to surrender. How well you do this through to March 2025 will be reflected in how tough or easy Saturn is on you during this period. What I find is that people who have had quite a, a tough life anyway, uh, they're usually pretty sort of humbled and they're humble people and they're disciplined and they got all that going on. So they, these people just kind of scoot through a Saturnian period. They just kind of they just move through and not much is happening, you know. Um, 
so yeah i have observed that people who who have had a really tough life for example i give you an example people who are born into a saturn mahadasha in the childhood they were born into the saturn mahadasha or a sarisati period or some heavy saturnian big thing during their childhood those people are just so humble and so good and honest and they just kind of move through these tough saturnian periods and not much happens um so yeah that's that's a good thing uh mind you we all have different periods and our ego grows and you know it needs pairing back and yeah so so see how all of this is going for you i know i've had yeah i've had times where yeah my ego is needed to be uh saturn has yeah really taken me to task and <laughs> just gone what are you doing <laughs> like, oh, i've been through it <laughs> Might go through it again who knows uh, i've got here if you need remedies at this time they are simple they really are you know i've got here restructure your life and days so they are simpler so that you get more rest i've got to save your money serve others consume spiritual texts and teachings work with your dream state if you can and that's about it you know the heart is simple if we're in ego in the mind well that's very complicated but the heart is simple that's a great place to be so pisces any pisces moon people here hang in there pisces moon you're doing great you're going through your sati sati it's tough and yeah we know it's, it's you, you've got some tough stuff ahead yet still but you'll see these periods are do you know one thing i like about saturn is that in a in a weird kind of a way okay this is I've, i don't know if i've how are we doing on time i think we're all right let's do this because i haven't put this anywhere else i'll switch this off because i think i've done all the notes yeah i have um one thing i've observed about saturn is that like yeah it's tough and and like and so, and, and sometimes especially when saturn takes you off the playing field of life and he's like right you're coming with me I'm going to put you here you're going to have no money you're going to have like it's, it's, you know it's going to be tough and boring or whatever when saturn takes you off the playing field of life and just parks you somewhere and is working with you and whatever i actually i don't i quite i've grown to quite liking all that now and what i've discovered about saturn is that you can always find like saturn protects us um Saturn's not as tough and as hard as we think and this is when I think about like a supermarket this is going to be weird but let me just try it out here um when, when I think of a supermarket and like there's always good quality food that's really cheap you can always buy lentils they're really cheap they're always cheap in whatever country you're in they're always cheap you can always buy lentils you can always buy like so at Marks and Spencer which is a, an expensive shop here you can get six eggs for one pound 25 and that's actually cheaper I watched Sophie Showhead do a video about she went to Lidl and she she had like what was it six eggs for one pound 35 so look at that Marks and Spencer is a way more expensive shop than Lidl but yet their basic eggs are cheaper than Lidl's basic eggs so you might be like how does all this re relate to saturn it's like there's always saturn's always looking out for people who don't have much there's always a way there's always yeah i don't know i'm still experimenting with this concept i'm not explaining it very well but it's like the the other thing is because i've got a food analogy going here and it's like saturn always makes sure that there's good quality food available in a very cost effective sort of a way it's a preserver you see that's it because it's like because if you were to eat at an expensive restaurant like so the fat duck 
is crazy expensive. I don't even know if the fat duck still exists. I have no idea. I actually did a very long time ago eat there one time. <laughs> and but if I ate there every day, I would be sick. I would have like, I don't know, my arteries would fill up or something. Like, I'd be really sick if I just ate there every day. Whereas if you eat the live and eat the Saturnian way, which is ultra cheap, he preserves you, he keeps you going. He keeps you so I actually weirdly feel protected and safe in Saturn's energy. Uh, I've had to get to know it because it's such an important figure in my life. Um, but it's like I actually weirdly feel, yeah, at home and safe and protected there. Yeah. I can just hear a siren. I don't know if that's... That's my cue to go. I think it is. I don't know if I've explained that concept properly, but it's like, you see, because eating at the fat duck, that's Leo. Right? That's the opposite of Aquarius. That's the most expensive food you can go and buy, but it won't preserve you. In fact, it'll give you a heart attack. Like, yeah. Whereas if you eat the Saturnian way, you be the cheap, humble, poor, like, you know, you allow Saturn to strip you of everything. Oh, okay, strip me of everything. I'm not allowed to play there. I'm not allowed to earn the big money. Okay, fine. You know, it's like, yeah, but I actually, it's, I feel more at home and safer, weirdly, in the, um, in the Saturnian frequency or band or whatever. Like, it's, it's good there. Because you're actually getting the better quality food. You see, the home cooking, the cheap meals. Because there's an analogy around this. There's something about like the, I don't know. I have to, I have to do more homework on this concept. I've got a half-baked concept, which I've just tried to <laughs> share with you. Some of you will know what I'm talking about here. But they, don't they say something about like the poor man's diet is the healthier one? There is some concept like that. I, I want to Google search that now. I don't know. I don't know how much of this I'm going to leave or I'm going to cut out. We'll see. We'll see what happens in editing. But guys, I, I just want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for being so amazing and for subscribing and liking and sharing and doing all that stuff. Thank you so much. And um, stick around on the channel. I'll be back. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you next time.